Hello friends, I'm Callie Bransfort if you're new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you a video that I've seen circulating around YouTube a little bit and I think it's just such an interesting idea. I'm going to share with you everything I spend in a week. It was just like an interesting experience to have to like verbally say every single thing I bought for an entire week. So here you go. Oh my goodness. All right, day one of this challenge. It is Sunday, and usually we don't really do a lot on Sundays. Hold on, I'm gonna play it here, it's easier. And so usually it's like a zero dollar day. But we were supposed to have nachos today and realized I don't have cheese. So I have to run to the store and get cheese really quick. And of course, it's a freaking monsoon outside. Also, if you can't tell that I don't usually go out on Sundays, I'm literally wearing like basically pajamas. Guaranteed I'm gonna see someone I know, because isn't that how it always works? I just realized I didn't tell you guys how much I spent at the store yesterday. It's gonna take me like a day to remember that I need to check in with you after I ever spend. I ended up spending $15, even though I only went for cheese. Because so of course I ended up with like extra stuff that I saw and I was like, oh, I need that, like baby wipes and juice. So this morning we just are getting ready. As you can see, Miles was helping me put my makeup on and we are going grocery shopping. I have made my list, which is very important. List always helps me stay within budget. Okay, we are at the grocery store. And just so you know, it is currently 7.36. I am that person that goes to the grocery store at 7.36. Um, so I try to keep our groceries to like $150 to $175 a week. We do eat seven days a week, pretty much three meals a day at home. We like almost never eat out. And we also, for us, trying to eat like good healthy meals is important to us, so we do factor that in. I also have to get an extra meal this week because I'm going to like a little food potluck. I'm part of something called the Newcomers Club in the town that we moved to so it's like an extra thing to factor in which is part of why I'm worried I'm gonna go over because it's like one extra thing on top of what we usually spend. Hello and welcome to the mess that is my kitchen because Monday is grocery shopping day it's usually food prep day too I usually prep at least two dinners and then any meals for miles that I need to prep so that's what happens during the nap time hustle, which is happening right now. So, mess behind me. But I made out pretty good at the grocery store. I left at $119, which is definitely under budget. Hold on, I, I need to be mixing while we talk. Like literally I have every door open. So, left at $119, was definitely under budget, but I did spend $15 yesterday on food and I still need to pick up like two or three things they didn't have at the grocery store. So I feel like I'm still gonna be pretty much like right at that 150 mark. But the reason I was able to keep it so low, whenever I think that my um, list is gonna go over budget. I like stick right to my list. I don't buy anything that's extra. So I'm just gonna get back to this chaos here uh, while Miles naps. In case you're curious, I'm prepping chili, which we usually have at least once a month because it's just so easy and can throw in the crock pot. And then I'm also making a crock pot coconut chicken curry. Um, I make the sauce ahead of time. And then in the morning for a work day, all I have to do is throw the sauce on top of some chicken, throw it into the crock pot and let it cook during the day and it's done when I get home, which is awesome. All right, my friends, it's turning into run errands day, which honestly Monday usually does do that. We're just having a quick snack in the car. Um, I ran to a local, there's like a little local farm market near me. Um, because I needed the two things I didn't get at the grocery store that they didn't have were Brussels sprouts and sage. So I came here, it's a little more pricey, but I was able to get those two things, um, which was $6 and like 42 cents. And then um, there's a spot where you can donate to our local uh, soup kitchen. So $5 there. So I've spent about $11.50. But the nice thing is there's this little like pumpkin patch where they have tractors that the kids can play on and like farm animals for them to see. And it's free on weekdays. So Miles and I'm becoming like once a week because it's a great free activity for him to do. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't eat that. No, we don't eat that. That's hay. We don't eat hay. Good morning. It is Tuesday and on Tuesdays I go into the office. And so I treat myself to a coffee out like a to-go coffee you know what I mean like instead of making my coffee at home all right I'm heading home for the day but I did have to run by the vet to pick up Austin's medication which cost me $56.10 but now I'm heading home which means I will not be spending any more money today I did run out and get a cookie today after my lunch because I just needed something sweet but I had free points on my Starbucks app so I got the cookie for free so that cost me zero dollars Good morning, it is Thursday, Thursday morning. It's Wednesday morning and I'm at the grocery store again because I forgot we have Friendsgiving this weekend. I thought it was next weekend. Anyways, I have to get the stuff to make my meal that I'm bringing. Usually I would have planned that into my normal grocery shopping, 
but I forgot. So anyways, just left the grocery store and I paid $23.21, no, $22.23. All right, I just finished cooking up my food for my little gourmet club. I'll show you what I made. Butternut squash tarts with caramelized onions and ricotta, yum. They're gonna be so good. There's like sage and balsamic in there. Um, but I did just spend $18 at Amazon getting a new travel cup for Miles because we lost the top to his. I do not know where it went, so irritating. This is what happens when I sleep on wet air <clears throat> and I haven't had a chance to use my Revlon One Step on it yet. That was a perfect segue, Miles, thank you. We are probably gonna head over to Marshall's, or it might be a TJ Maxx. I don't even really know which one is the one near where we just moved, but um, we finally got our new sofa like two weeks ago, and then we got our new rug last night. It arrived, and so now I feel like I can pick out coffee tables, so I kinda wanna go and see what they have. Um, it's kinda hard because it's like this long. Okay, so I got up to show you. I can't decide. Like I have this footstool here, which I feel like looks high. <laughs> you waving at us? Hi. I feel like this footstool looks good here, and it's nice actually to have it because then you can kind of lounge here and put your feet up. But I can't decide like what am I going to do for a coffee table because this piece is not very long, obviously, because we have our door here. And so I'm considering like maybe doing two smaller tables like this one. I don't know. Or do I want to do? I don't know if it'd be weird to have like footstool table table. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to tell you guys about this rug because I'm super jazzed. This is a ruggable rug. Now, if you watched my nursery hacks video, which I posted like nine months ago, are you gonna pull on that? <laughs> He's obsessed with the string. Um, I bought a ruggable rug for Miles' nursery and ruggable rugs, if you don't know, are washable rugs. So you actually can take like this piece pulls off and the mat is underneath so you can actually take the whole top of this rug off and it just goes into your washing machine which is like brilliant so when we did the nursery i bought the ruggable rug and i was like if i love it when we buy a house i'm literally only going to get these rugs because with babies with dogs it's just so much easier. Anyways, I talk about my nursery ruggable rug so often on Instagram stories. A lot of you guys have told me that you've bought them. So when we moved into this house, I decided I would reach out to them and see if they wanted to work together. And so they sent me this amazing rug that I was gonna get anyways for our living room and a coupon code for you guys if you are interested in getting a ruggable rug. I will put that down below. I honestly truly love these rugs. I bought the one for my nursery at the beginning and I've told everyone about it. My mom has bought one because I told Tell her about it all the time. I just think that they are brilliant. I'm obsessed with my new rug for the living room, but now I gotta figure out coffee tables. And I'm one of those people when I put together a room, I just have to work very slow. Like I painted the wall, then I got the sofa, then I hung the art, now I have the rug. Okay, now I can finally think about coffee tables. All right, the hat's back on. I don't know if it's better or worse. Anyways, we left Marshalls. They didn't have any good, actually it was a TJ Maxx. They didn't have any coffee tables that matched what I wanted but I did get two throw pillows once I, I hadn't bought any throw pillows to add because I was waiting for the rug to come and now that the rugs here I had kind of had an idea of the kind of pillows I was looking for they had literally the two exact throw pillows that I was thinking of getting so I spent $50.13 anyways a few years ago I would have never spent $50 on two throw pillows but now that we own a house I really feel like we're settling down and I find myself investing in pieces a little bit more when it's like what I really want Anyways, I'm very proud of myself for not even looking at the clothes or even going into the beauty section because that's where they get you. Get you in there. I'm at the um, Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru getting myself an afternoon pick-me-up and bringing Michael a pumpkin donut home as a surprise because I'm going to Gourmet Club tonight. So I always feel bad when I leave him for the night, so I'm bringing him a donut. Um, but I have a gift card, so this will cost me zero dollars. Hello, check-in time. It's actually Friday now. We had a little bit of a crazy Thursday. But first, let me finish what happened on Wednesday. Um, the last thing that I did was go to Ocean State Job Lot and I did get the two pots that I needed. I'll just give you, I'll, I'll share, I'll give you a little Ocean State Job Lot haul. So I got two pots that I needed to plant the things and then of course, like always happens when you go into those stores, you see things and you're like, oh my God, I needed this. So <laughs> I needed these two power strips um, because the sofa that we just got sits right up against the wall and the two outlets in this room are now behind the sofa and you can't get to them so I needed um, extension 
cord things, but I needed the ones that were flat so they would lie like flat up against the wall because the sofa goes right up, whatever. It was a very specific thing I needed and they had it there. Um, so I got those and then I got some work gloves for Michael. So I ended up spending $30 at, well I ended up spending $31 at Ocean State Travel because then they were doing $1 donations to the veterans. So I donated a dollar. Um, oh, I also got some new nail files. But we had sort of a freak thing happen outside of our house yesterday. One of the power lines like exploded. Not the transformer, just the power line just to our house, just combusted, just like self imploded. I don't know what they really do. It sent a surge of electricity through our house. Cool, that fried about half of the appliances in our house. Our dishwasher's fried, our washing machine's fried, fried our internet, fried our Nespresso machine, and fried our furnace. So that's gonna be fun. And that's, I think it's interesting that happened this week while I'm doing this video, sharing everything that I spend money on in one week, because I feel like one of the hardest things to budget for that always happens in life is those unexpected costs. So this morning I had to go to Walmart to get a new modem because we need internet. My husband works from home. I do a bunch of work from home. Um, so $68 later, I got a modem at Walmart. All right, it is Saturday. We've made it to the last day. I just finished cooking up our meal for Friendsgiving. I made cheesy cauliflower crockpot. Cheesy crockpot, whatever. It's like a cheesy cauliflower that you do in the crockpot. It's amazing. I'll put the recipe down below. But we haven't spent any money today. I'm just gonna go finish getting ready. We're going over there, so. Oh, also yesterday, Michael and I went for a walk when he got out of work, um, and we walked into town and we stopped at our local package store, which, if you're not from Connecticut, a package store in Connecticut is a liquor store. Why do we call it a package store? I'm not really sure. Uh, that was 60. I gotta go look at the receipt. It was this much money. But I just sat down and I added up every single thing that I spent for the entire week and our total was, not that, that's not showing you the total, $457.27, which feels like a lot of money. I think that's why this video concept was so, so interesting to me because, um, I mean, like as somebody who budgets, I look at everything I spend every single week anyways. So I always just think it's so interesting to see how quickly little things can add up. And that's why when I talk about budgeting and I will link some of my budgeting blog posts down below that talk about like how I budget, I always say like the first thing you need to be doing is looking at what you spend every single month and like really breaking it down into categories because it puts so much into perspective. It was an interesting experience. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.